And what I thought would be handy would be about a two inch hitch. Just bolt it on here to the drawbar and come in here about two foot so I could pretty easily move around a trailer that has a two inch ball hitch on the property versus getting a three quarter ton truck out and trying to wall it around because it can get kind of tight in here with vehicles in the fifth wheel. Mainly that's the one I want to move around and it's going to be moved around quite a bit loading and unloading supplies in the back. So let me show you what I came up with and it made it pretty easy because I had some surplus two inch by two inch by one eighth inch thick steel tubing to work with. So here's the steel tubing we we had to work with. Pretty good stuff. It took a wire brush to clean most of it off. It was getting pretty rusty. I did get a decent price on it, but I had to scrub the heck out of it with a wire brush on an electric drill and a grinder. So my original 24 inch plan, what I didn't like about it was it stayed low. I went ahead and cut this ball off. I had a couple of old balls laying around. This is a two inch ball. Cut it off flat with the bandsaw and welded it solid onto here. Well, I went ahead and cut off the 24 inches. I cut three inches off, so we're looking at 21 from the bolt pattern here and put this on top for just an additional two inches of height. And I think it's gonna make a lot of difference. I would have liked to have kept the trailer as level as possible. Bolt pattern was just measured off the tractor and then drilled. There's my wind drill press. Really liking that drill press for $450. Delivered to my local Home Depot. Variable speed. Probably didn't need to, but went ahead to tractor supply and got 5 8 inch bolts. The holes in the John Deere hitch, the draw bar in the rear. They are 3 quarter inch diameter. I don't care. I wanted to go as small as I could. Half inch is too small. 5 8 inch, doubled up, is a lot of strength. These are grade 8 bolts from Tractor Supply. Two bolts weigh a pound. They're $4.59 a pound, I think. So I got roughly $5 in four flat washers, two locks, two nuts, and two bolts. And I forget what I went on bolts. Uh, went four inch long on the bolts. I'll get a bolt up here and show it to you. Came out pretty good. I'm glad I went ahead and doubled up that tubing on top. Looks like the top of the ball is at 16 inches. Looks like the trailer's still going to be high in the front, but not by much. One thing you got to consider if you've got the John Deere I match hitch on your rear, you're going to have to watch your clearance here. Of course, I'm over the ball by maybe an inch. But I got lucky because that's the what kind of clearance I'm dealing with. You see right there. The eye match is in the highest position, so it's going to be okay. So just something to consider. Your hitch may be different. You might be using an aftermarket. You may have more of a drop here on your third link. I don't know, you just need to take that in consideration. If I did come back another two inches, originally would that have saved me? Probably not. Two inches might have gotten right about here. Let's get an idea if we're level. We're pretty darn level here. I'm pretty happy with that. Even if I was two inches lower, it's not a deal breaker, but I'd rather have it up where it's at right now. Just be careful when you turn if you got your eye match because you're sticking back here. It's going to be a limit. We're not at uh, 90 degrees yet. And I've got this kind of space in here. It's probably four, four and a half inches. Of course, this will move. But all in all, it's going to be pretty handy. And also, as with anything, do your research. Figure out what kind of weight you're dealing with. I'm not dealing with a whole lot of weight here. Those racks are going to go onto the trailer. Those racks are going to be loaded with PVC pipe. So we're not going to exceed any weight limitations here. I don't know what the weight limitation is on that square tubing. That's another reason I didn't want to keep extending it out here. The longer it goes out, the more a factor it becomes on stressing it. So being shorter like this is going to be okay. I'm definitely not concerned about the two 5 8 inch 
grade 8 bolts. It's probably the strongest part of the whole link. And the ball is welded on. This setup is not going on the highways. This is just on the property. So just all things you need to consider if you're going to build your own hitch. It's not a big deal. And you might even have the surplus stuff laying around. You may not have to go out and buy anything. But you might have to sacrifice a 2-inch ball hitch. If not, you're going to have to drill it out. I'm okay with, with welding the hitch on. Because this is going to get a lot of use. This is so handy. And you can turn very sharp if you take this right up here. Not quite 90 degrees. You just have to watch your jack stand casing here. Well, have a good one. And thanks for watching.